I've always been a fan of the Wild Homestead channel. It used to be my go-to while watching YouTube. I never thought a YouTuber could stand out in such a saturated platform, but James Aloffs proved me wrong. James Aloffs isn't just any other YouTuber, and only the biggest fans know some of these secrets. Today I'm going to reveal things about James Aloffs that people have no idea about, like how he runs a secret podcast just for his closest followers, and how he used to be a Chinese actor. Keep watching till the end to know all about him. James was born in Toronto, Canada, but he was brought up in Los Angeles, California. This is, of course, a whole different environment than what we are accustomed to seeing him in on his channel. But things get a whole lot more interesting as we get a look into his career choices. James had a thing for business, so he got himself an MBA. That was his entry into the corporate world, where he started out working as a marketer at Protect and Gamble. However, James wasn't really satisfied with where he was. He wanted something more creative. It was during this phase that James met a colleague at his office, who inspired him to reflect on his dreams. Within two years of this, James quit his job and left for China. At this point, James had no idea about what he wanted to do. All he knew was that he loved Chinese culture. Funny thing was that he hadn't thought of learning Mandarin until he got there. But to learn Mandarin, James used to watch a lot of TV shows and decided to take a shot at participating in reality shows himself. This guy is truly a genius because he somehow managed to get a part in a hit show named If You Are The One, which was a dating reality show. That made him a star in the country. Don't be mistaken in thinking that it was the only thing he was cast for. In the following years, he made some hit movies like The Mahjong Box and The New King of Comedy, along with some other TV shows like The Blood Chit and Women Gang. Now this hasn't gone so smoothly because, spoiler alert, he did leave China. But why would someone with such fame even think of doing that? Well, that's a story for another episode. Just kidding. One of his major reasons for leaving the country was the political environment and all the mess during the 2020 policies because of the COVID lockdowns. At this point, James made up his mind to leave China. He flew back to his country after living in the major cities of Los Angeles and Beijing for over a decade. He made up his mind and bought 40 acres of wilderness near the salt. The interesting thing is that he got ready to build an off-grid homestead by going on some camping trips, reading two log cabin building books, and talking to a log cabin builder in his city. He didn't just want to experience his new life, he even wanted to document his whole journey on YouTube. That is when he started his channel, Wild Homestead. He kept uploading his updates every week, and within 25 uploads, he hit the 100k mark. That has got to be one of the fastest growing channels ever, as it took him just seven months to do that, and he received his silver play button recently. The reason why all the fans love his channel is that he doesn't just teach stuff to his viewers, he shows his learnings instead. But wait, there's more to his journey on YouTube. Did you know that he has a podcasting channel too? It's called The Wild Ontario Podcast, and very few people know about this. Here he calls in some interesting guests to discuss topics like health and environmental issues. Living this way hasn't always been easy. During his journey, he once had to face a double inner ear infection. He had to stay safe from bear attacks, all while maintaining an emphasis on sustainability and self-reliance. Even his dad, Paul Alofs, has been very proud of him. As you can see, he has even made a post on his LinkedIn trying to promote his son's journey. For watching this far in the video, I can't give you some berries and cherries but I do promise to give you more such interesting content if you just hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. Let me know in the comments what you guys want from me in future videos.